In this video, we take a look at the use of SQL to insert, update and delete data in a relational database. So in the GCSE exam, there are four main actions you need to be comfortable with performing on a database in SQL, and that's selecting data, inserting, deleting and updating. Now we covered selection in the previous video. In this one, we're going to look at the other three. So let's start with inserting data. You use the keyword insert into. You then provide the name of the table you want to insert into, followed by the list of fields. You then use the keyword values and specify the values one at a time separated by commas. And these must match the same order of the fields you specified. Note that when listing field values, strings need to be put inside quotation marks. It is possible to omit the list of fields should you wish, but you then need to make sure you supplied all the appropriate values for a complete record. So let's take the following scenario. Write an insert command to add a new record to the world table. The only information we currently have is the name of the country, which is Oz, its capital, Emerald City, and its population of a million citizens. Pause the video and see if you can write out the correct SQL. So what you should have ended up with is insert into world. Then we open the brackets and specify the name of the three fields we're going to be inserted, separated by commas. Then the keyword values, and then we specify the three values we were given, again in brackets and separated by commas. The values are in the same order as the fields we listed above, and two of them are in double quotes because they are strings. So next is updating data. So this is updating information that's already in a table. We start with the keyword update and give the table name. We then use the keyword set and we state the field that we want to change equals the value we want to change it to. We can do this for multiple fields at once by repeating this and separating it by commas. Finally, we have a WHERE clause where we set some kind of condition so the program knows what it is we need to be updating. So again, here's a scenario. Write an update command to update the population to 2 million and the name to Wonderland for any country who has a capital of Emerald City. Pause the video and see if you can write this out first. So what you should have got was update world set population field equals 2 million and name equals Wonderland where the capital field equals Emerald City. And again, note that the strings were included in double quotes. Finally, you need to know how to delete records from a database table. This starts with the keyword delete from and then specify the table you want to delete stuff from. Finally, we have a WHERE clause where we set a condition that needs to be matched so we're only deleting records that we need. So here's our final scenario. Write a delete command which removes all records from the world table if they have a population larger than 2 million. Pause the video again and see if you can write this SQL command out first. So this is quite a simple one. It's delete from world, that's our table, where the population field is greater than 2 million. And again, notice 2 million's not in double quotes because this time it's an integer, it's not a string, it doesn't need the quotes. So here are the three SQL commands we covered in this video, insert, update and delete, along with the syntax of how you'd use these. Remember that when listing field values, strings need to be entered in quotation marks.